Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. The Minnesota Vikings continued their free agent acquisitions by bringing in Patrick Peterson, cornerback from the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this 10-year veteran has had an amazing career. Eight Pro Bowls, 29 interceptions, four sacks. So the question is, why would Arizona let someone like that go? Well, for a lot of people, it's the age that scares them away. And I think bringing in a veteran is exactly what this defensive back room for the Vikings needs. You've got a young Cameron Dantzler. You've got a young Jeff Gladney. You're bringing in a professional. You're bringing in a guy that's seen it all, done it all, played it all. And oh, by the way, we're going to go to the film to see how much this guy has left in the tank as a football player. The big question you get with a guy like Patrick Peterson is, is, is really, does he have anything left in the tank? Can the guy still run? This first play against the Seattle Seahawks, now you can see Patrick Peterson right next to or right by Buda Baker. Now watch what happens after this interception. Buda Baker turns this thing up, but look at Patrick Peterson. He is gaining ground on Buda Baker, the safety, all the way down the field. So that kind of effort, right? That kind of of desire is not something that you see period in this league let alone from a guy who's been in the league for 10 years now you see patrick peterson up on the top of your screen against metcalf you'll see peterson he knows that there's a blitz on in fact it's a zero blitz there's no safety the blitz has to get there so he's going to stay one-on-one -on -one. metcalf decides to stop and peterson turns himself around, but when he turns around, his vision automatically goes up to where the football is. And basically, he's running this route for Metcalf, gets in the end zone, goes up and gets the football. That is a subtle but extremely important thing for a cornerback, is to play the football. That's the whole goal. You want to cover your guy as much as you can, but once that ball is in the air, you have to make it your own. And you're going to see a lot of examples of Patrick Peterson just making plays on the football. All right, against the Buffalo Bills. You're going to see at the bottom of your screen, Stefan Diggs is lined up just outside the 40-yard line. And they're going to have a double team here, really, against Stefan Diggs. They're really bracketing Diggs in and out. And then what Patrick Peterson does such a great job of is staying high. His vision, again, goes back to the football, and he's able to fall off and really work on that deep over route that's coming the other way. That's what the route the quarterback wants but he's right there. That's the play on the football. He's so smart. He knows exactly what is going on. He knows when he's bracketing a wide receiver and that receiver runs the dig route to get his eyes back on the quarterback and try to see the football. Okay, against the Carolina Panthers. And in this case, Peterson is dropping to the deep half at the bottom of your screen. And this is a very difficult route to cover, but he sees the over route by the tight end. He sees the go route by the wide receiver and he knows he has help in the middle. So he flips his hips and works his way over the top. But once that ball's thrown, Peterson just gets underneath it and makes the interception. The ball, yeah, was it overthrown? Absolutely, but he keeps his eye on the prize. He keeps his eye on the football. Now, against the Cleveland Browns, this is absolutely one of my favorite plays. You're gonna see Peterson on the outside covering Odell Beckham Jr. The Cleveland Browns are in a bunch set, right? They're in a group setting. Now you watch this route by Odell Beckham Jr. As he gets to the top and he gets to the 10 yard line, you see Peterson's turn on to the inside. He knows because of the route of the inside receiver that Beckham is going to run the post route. Comes underneath and again, keeps his eye on the football, goes up, gets the interception. You know, and when you do something like this, when you see it on film, you anticipate it, and then you intercept that football, yeah, that's when you heave it up into the stands. <laughs> because he just read that route and took the football. All right, up top, one-on-one -on -one coverage. One of the hardest things in the, in the world of football to do is to cover a wide receiver in space. Here he is, one-on-one, -on -one, no help. Receiver turns around, he almost intercepts his football. Now they throw a flag here, and there's a flag on the other corner on the other side of the play. Great coverage, I think, one-on-one -on -one by Patrick Peterson. On this next play uh, against the Seattle Seahawks, you'll see Peterson rolled up on Metcalf at the bottom. So he settles up, tries to jam, misses. Then Metcalf is able to get some separation, about two yards. Doesn't look back. He just puts his nose down and tries to kick it in that next gear and catch up to close that space. And he does. That ball is just a little bit underthrown, and Peterson is right there. In this case, able to catch up with Metcalf and get the create the incompletion. 
All right, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see the wide receiver come in motion. As he comes over, you'll see Peterson look at Buda Baker and kind of give him the hands like this, meaning they're playing some type of cover eight, some type of a bunch. He has the outside on the up route. Buda Baker has the inside part of this route. And for some reason, Buda Baker just turns around and stops, and Peterson continues to squeeze it and gets it into the end zone. Now, this is an absolutely perfect throw by Russell Wilson for the touchdown. But this is why fans start to question these guys. He was hung out to dry by Buda Baker, and this is a perfect example. Peterson keeps his eye on the football. Against the LA Rams, this is again, one-on-one -on -one coverage. This is another example of how smart Peterson is. You get the bunch formation, you have three receivers all lined up. They're gonna stay in some type of, of man or three deep in this situation. He knows by the routes of the two in routes, by the underneath receiver is that that receiver is not going to plant his foot and run to the sideline. He's going to come underneath. So Peterson just keeps continues to squeeze. As soon as that receiver starts to break his break down, he's coming underneath. Now the ball is eventually thrown to the outlet, but that is a beautiful example of a defensive back who's veteran who watches film, sees what's happening in front of him, and then reacts to it. And then finally, when you need him in run support, you'll do it. This is a third and goal play. Wide receiver blocks down. He's in a situation where he has to crack and replace. He steps up, a little help from the safety, but they make the tackle at the one yard line. So this is a big play to make it fourth down. So Peterson, when he has to, will step up and make those run plays. So overall, I think he's a great ad. He still has a lot of football left. His legs, I think, got a little tired by the end of the season. The Vikings use him wisely. I think he can stay fresh. He still has a ton of football, but it's that leadership role, that knowledge, the, 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 the ability to watch film, to teach the young guys how to watch film. This guy, I think, is a great add to the defensive back room. And he alone is going to make that group better, but he is going to elevate the play of the guys around him.